In this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you a video editing concept known as the Match Cut. So, as you're watching, there's a bunch of different examples here that I've kind of come up with, where we're transitioning from one clip to another with just a simple cut, but we're either creating some sort of continuity in the motion, the texture, the shape of the image, or the camera, or the subject in the image, to create kind of a seamless transition from one cut to the next. So, in this first example, we have a match of the subject walking, the kind of slow motion, the pace of it. But overall, it goes hand in hand from one to the next clip. It's a great transition that kind of connects these two clips, whether they're different scenes in a, in a film or different locations, or they relate to each other somehow. In this case, we're using a moment of impact. So as soon as the squirrel blows these sprinkles out, we also cut to this firework scene which could be great for some sort of montage or transition there. This case is really unique. We have a flower and then an aerial shot of a building where it kind of has a flower type of pattern. It's a great transition from this clip to the next that kind of connects the two shots together. So I put many examples here, but just to show you how you might do this. If I did have two clips together, and let's say I want to match this into a clip of another scene of someone jumping, I have the two clips together and there's different moments. There's this moment of impact, this one as well. There's this moment of impact. So I might just want to cut the clip perhaps right here in the middle of the air and then find the moment in this clip where we're in the middle of the air kind of spinning. And then bring those two clips together with just that simple cut. And that could be a good way to cut between these two. Another example, if I have this clip of this man diving into this pool, I might want to find the exact moment where we submerge, and this is great, or you can use the arrow keys left and right on your keyboard and perhaps create a cut there. And then I have this other clip of these lemons and limes being dropped in underwater. I might want to find a, a nice moment of impact on those, just trim those clips, and then bring them together and see how it looks. So in this case, I can kind of get that splash illusion. You want to watch it back and play with the timing. Another thing you can do to look at this is when you are editing the clips together, instead of doing it on the same track, you can also try doing it on the track above. So in this case, you can easily slide in or out, and there's other tools in the toolbar to allow you to slide your edit. In this case, I will be able to kind of trim and match, and then if I want, I can merge those clips in on the same layer. Now in the same way you can do a match cut, you can also do a same simple match dissolve. So I can add a cross dissolve there. Same idea, but you just kind of want to find the moment where the timing is right. The motion of the clips go one in hand in hand with each other. And there's a lot of cool creative uses. This is a great way to make your project a lot more cohesive and bring it all together without doing any sort of fancy transitions. At the end of the day, it's still a cut, but we're matching the camera and subject movement to make things make sense more. So this has been the concept of a match cut. If you did enjoy this tutorial, you can check out a bunch of other tutorials in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.